so another issue that uh, started popping up is uh, this gasket it's leaking focus yeah it's i've just cleaned it but let me holy shit i cleaned the entire section so it started leaking oil and uh, it's not like that uh, not like that after i've uh, disassembled it it started leaking oil it had a little mark cut mark on the gasket means straight from the factory so with that out of the way we are today trying to fix today trying to fix someone else's mistake so first uh, this thing needs to come off and we'll go go through the same processes that you have to go through shit tight get this thing off let's get in there and clickety clackety that's it things loose now simple let's get that on that side so the story of the the story time yeah we will have a little story time story time uh, story time uh, i got my xvols and i go to the second service okay that's about right i i get my xvols i go to first service to the place where i bought the xfolds and uh, tell them that uh, i want uh, the basic service procedures to be carried out uh, like the oil change filter clean and all that so they say oh, we don't have the clutch cover gasket or what you call this clutch cover packing we don't have that sir so we won't be able to do the filter clean uh, we'll uh, clean the chain and all that stuff and change the engine oil i said okay uh, it's not a problem we'll probably get it done on the second service so i thinking that i just say yeah it's not a big deal so i walk out with my motorcycle uh, thinking that hey, it's i'll probably get it done on the second service it's not a big deal so i go to second service and same guys there just say so the i go to the second service and they say we still don't have stock of the clutch cover gasket so i say still no okay getting this this is becoming quite a tedious process taking it out taking it in taking it out taking it putting it back on Oh yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, for the second service. I go in for the second service. I point out the issues I'm facing, like my front and rear rims have been started rusting. I've heard about this issue and uh, heard that people have gone got this rectified from straight from the dealerships. They issued a recall for that, but not no such thing happened. i say probably they will find out on its own on their own and then make the adjustments but uh, no such process was carried out so i point out the issues like the rusting rims and uh, the noisy valves and like um, missed oil cleaning oil filter cleaning probably they should do that 
this time uh, a spark plug a spark plug gap check uh, the rear brake was making a little noise so all that i pointed out so guess what they did and what they didn't all right they put me on hold for the rims they said we can't get you the rims right now because it has to be ordered from the factory all right fair enough yeah we don't keep those in stock and they said we still don't have the stock no we still don't have the clutch cover gasket or the oil filter gasket in stock uh, we haven't got it yet uh, we can't do the oil filter clean so this oil filter cleaning and as they wrote out oil filter uh, we can't do the oil filter cleaning i'm standing there thinking dude you sold the bike and still you don't keep your parts in stock like basic necessity parts in stock so i can't say anything because yeah you don't have the power means they won't listen so what's the point yeah yeah that's what i thought so i didn't say anything all right you don't have it stock just do what you want to do so same routine process repeated what do you think the routine process is hmm? oil chain chain clean and chain adjustment that's what they did this time also right that's all they could do right i asked them to take care of the valves they said no nah. even though they wrote that in their little shitty book it's electronic nowadays in a tablet pointing out the issues i've complained about and that's it all right that's about it let's just say let's just say we will do it but not do in the in the time so it was getting late and i had to come back home it's like 12 kilometers away so i can't just keep stand stand there and keep wasting my time so i gave them front and back gave them a good left and right but uh, they just eh, it's not a big deal for them so didn't think much about it so this is the i'll show you exactly where the fault is uh, if you can't focus there you go let's zoom in a little bit camera zoom up there you go see that now before you go grab your pitchforks and tell me that no i did that no i didn't do it i noticed that before it means the first time i took this and took the head apart so i noticed that and since i didn't know any better i thought uh, these parts are specialized so the gasket for the 150 extreme is different from the ga top head gasket of the 200 so i got myself the gasket of 150 extreme 150 by the looks of it look at it it looks just same yeah and if we try and put it on it's the exact same size so guys and gals who are out there with their expulses and you are getting pissed because you can't get parts for this like basic parts like uh, this one is leaking because of this uh, now there was an oil leak on the top of the on the near the valve cover so i get this off now pretty same but you go to the helio dealership and tell them that uh, don't they have uh, extreme 200 hours gasket in stock they say no but they don't even like put two and two to, um, together to count it that it's four they just say no we don't have any gaskets but they can clearly fit the 150s gasket see that see that that's on there now like solid what huh? yeah Look at this. 
it looks different but basically it's just a little oily and squished up but same thing man same thing hmm? say one two three ridges this has one two three ridges same stuff exact same dimension so if your gaskets has been fuckered you can use a 150 one, a 150 hours gasket extreme 150 hero honda hunk extreme or a unicorn probably that thing also has the same gasket because this engine is basically a honda copy yeah they ripped off from honda maybe this thing is not the same but it looks pretty damn close Yeah, that's pretty close, man. Let's just put it on. If either it leaks or it doesn't. So, we're gonna find out either way. This time, carefully get this thing on there. I got you. Oh. Um, I think I might switch up the dealership network. It's uh, the place where I live. Uh, the closest one has given up on hero completely uh, and the one i went to serve to get my servicing done is totally incompetent like they might have good technicians but the management staff is like absolute garbage man an absolute garbage so the design features of this bike are totally irritating man. and we gotta take this off and in order to do that uh, first remove the Hammer, kickstand. This is made of freaking steel, heavy as balls, man. If you like, means not using the kick as much, then just throw this away. Extra weight. The, another thing that the guys have been quite interested in getting this thing oil cooled. If we can get this thing oil cooled. However, I'm a little short on like a manuals, workshop manuals, uh, like uh, exploded view or something like that. If I could get a hand on that and find where the oil pump outlet inlet is, probably we can do a simple jugard and get two pipes out and get it oil cooled. What is it? So for the clutch cover, uh, we'll have a closer look. Get out. That's it. A closer look on the clutch cover. Uh, you get. You have to get the. Yeah. Um, what do you call that? Bash plate, uh, engine guard, whatever that is. You have to get that off. Someone to help us. Yeah, he's busy. He's too busy. Uh, so you gotta take four 10 mil bolts, and th that thing comes off. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And remove the kick, kick start, and the loosen the clutch wire. Just push this forward and remove that undo all the 8 mil bolts all right before we do that like carry on that process you have to drain the engine oil if we can get that the problem is basically solved it hopefully we don't have to remove the foot peg because that's like a whole other can of worms Holy shit. Yeah, it's cracking like. Huh? When I try to open it, it's breaking the sound barrier. <coughs> See that? Right. Ooh. Holy shit. Either my little wrench will go. Ah. It's coming off. So. That's it. All right. This is what I say about like bad engineering foresight, or like bad engineering. Look at that bolt. How the hell am I supposed to get in there? Stupid. Totally stupid. How the hell am I supposed to get that thing out? I had to use this 
for like 15 minutes straight just to get that thing loose. Come on, man. Hire engineers. There are like a lot of them in this country. Hire some of them. Maximize profits without even getting the right stuff. Stupid cunts. Now I have to fish that thing out. Stay here for a while. While I get that thing out of the... Right. Behold the glory of my hard work. Right. Holy shit. A lot of bolts. Everything is off now. I guess so. Right. There might be few oil spills. Here we go. Nice and on there, nice and tight. There you go. You gotta tap the kick start shaft <laughs> I didn't this I didn't think this through this thing is not gonna pop out that easily No wonder those service mechanics said no. It means bad engineering and this thing is not gonna come off at all. I gotta get this thing off, get the foot tag off. Come on, take a look. You see that? Who the fuck designed this? Huh? I can't take the crankcase out. Can't open the left side of the crankcase without disassembling the entire frame. I gotta take this off. And this is not something like removable. It's welded on there. Stupidity exceeds. I'm gonna crack this engine case. If I force it any further, taking this thing apart is like undoing the brake lines, uh, taking this one out, metal fairing out, taking the brake pedal out, and then taking this side cover. We're finally in, right? So in order to get to this position, we gotta take this off, the secondary exhaust bolt. The swing arm focus, okay. The swing arm nut and the nut that holds your uh, rider's footrest. You got to take these two off, pull it sufficiently forward so that it clears that, and pull the cover off. Here's the cover. Focus, focus, yeah. Here's the cover, and while we're here, we'll discuss on how and everything works uh, because it's. Uh, we still don't have a workshop manual to understand the flow of oil and a lot of you guys have been asking me if we could oil cool it. Uh, Hero has done it so we can do it too but we have to uh, figure out the way the oil flows. So according to your uh, user's manual this is a centrifugal oil filter and below this this is the oil pump. So the oil pump rotates. Now I'm uncertain about the direction of the flow if we can remove that uh, it's still covered two bolts so I'm still uncertain on which way the oil is flowing uh, I presume uh, this can be the outlet or inlet stays there yeah stays there oil flows in. All right. 
this is the centrifugal oil filter so oil comes out from here think this as an outlet so the engine turns the crankshaft uh, the clutch cover is turning uh, the clutch case is the clutch basket is turning it is then turning the centrifugal oil filter and the oil pump the oil pump pumps oil and uh, creates a flow direction so the oil is pushed into the centrifugal oil filter it goes through the washing machine loop and uh, all the particulate matters are separated and the filtered oil is then clean oil is pushed out from here out from here that thing coincides with that thing that outlet coincides with this part right here so the oil from there is pushed into here right it pushes in it then travels from this like so into the clutch cover the clutch cover has this slits slots one two and three three slots cut hollow slots you can see that so the oil flows in into these hollow slots and then it gets it gets distributed there is another connecting pipe here like here like so to the other uh, hollow sections after it has flowed out of the hollow section it goes back in through here here and through here it flows right back into the engine uh, probably it's clear uh, if not then <laughs> I'm very sorry so uh, that's so uh, what I supposed to understand at this present moment so, so whatever dirt and grime you see it's accumulated right here so when you take the clutch cover off it's a good idea to clean this and uh, have a good luck a look at this and um, we don't have a lot of we have a good amount of particulate matter and few metal shavings that's uh, always a good sign uh, little to no metal shavings is good so we have we'll clean that and after I've done cleaning that I'll open this up and show you what's the uh, what's on the inside here we go open this up uh, use the Phillips head give it a little bit of what for and it just gave up and uh, by looking at it if you have if you happen to you, can, you see the black deposit right here that's the particulate matter and judging by the condition of this uh, the engine is pretty pretty clean so now uh, it has run about like 3200 3, something kilometers and this is the condition not a lot of particulate matter either on the screen filter or on the centrifugal filter that's a good news and uh, basically i would say the engine is okay if the valve adjustment and anything are out of spec you would have known it by now a lot of particulate matter a lot of uh, sh shit stains and all that you would see the evidence so uh, oh, once you're here uh, it's a good idea to clean it with some petrol the, the, according to the service manual uh, i think i am not going to bother that much and just clean it with a very dirty rag just remove it be careful so that you don't damage this gasket uh, I was unfortunate that I wasn't able to find the oil filter gasket though so no luck there however yeah pretty clean so I'll uh, get this thing all back to uh, back together and uh, hope you guys had a good look of uh, what the actually what it actually looks like and I hope you understand uh, the way I explained the oil flow and uh, if we and another thing that I r forgot is uh, once we have this uh, we have seen this oil flow pattern here you can see here there are two divots okay this one right here right this can be used as outlet because it actually coincides with that uh, horizontal line horizontal bar right right there that one that one is that one coincides with this thing we know that oil flow inwards towards that we can actually drill it out uh, uh, put a fitting in there 
like I don't know the hydraulic fittings uh, what you can do with so this if you drill it out and manage to secure a fitting on here this can be used as outlet and this thing can be used as inlet so that's the basic idea and so if you are in any trouble like you're not getting the valve cover head gasket uh, you can use the extreme 200 uh, extreme 150s or you're not getting the clutch uh, clutch uh, clutch covers gasket you can use the extreme 150 or hero honda hunks clutch cover gasket both they are all the same so mm, probably the alternator cover is same too according to my that's my guesstimation so uh, i'll change uh, cleaned up what i need to clean up and uh, i'll close this up and fill it up with new oil um, that old one looks pretty like it looks like coffee even though i wouldn't drink it i'll pour in some new oil and i'm also looking in for synthetic option probably a motul 10 a motul 10w40 that would be a decent option for this but uh, I have still put that thing on hold because I'm speculating whether or to invest that kind of money on a cheap bike. However, I managed to pull this thing and entire thing with the intact gasket, so the chances we'll get this thing back on one piece. And while we're at it, I have it checked. Uh, hold on a second. we go have a look at it so this thing if I put this thing on correctly yeah this thing fits this gasket is for the extreme 150 but this thing fits for the expulse extreme 200 expulse 200 t so if your mechanic gives you some lip that uh, oh, i don't have the gasket and we can't do it just give him this right this thing will do so i had two success in one day which usually doesn't happen to me 